YouTubers, welcome again to my channel here. Um, today I will be looking at a great product. This is the Dyson V7 Motorhead Vacuum. And this is replacing um, our old vacuum. Um, our old vacuum, we had it about three years. And it's one of those uh, weird, heavy, bulky vacuum that um, I think it's fair to say that we were getting tired of. Uh, we have uh, a two-story house and every once in a while we have to carry the vacuum up the stairs and then down the stairs and then it's so convoluted and bulky we have to when we want to vacuum the stairs it's very hard and difficult and after much research i decided to go out and get this vacuum here which is the v7 vacuum and the reason why i wanted this vacuum is because it's lightweight portable um, it is also cardless um, and in our house here, we don't have a lot of carpet. Really, the second floor is the only floor that has carpet. The majority of the house is, um, is hardwood floor. And uh, after much research, um, the V7 uh, was gonna be, is going to be efficient because we only need about 30 minutes of um, suction, which is pretty good because um, that's more than enough time for our carpet that we have. Dyson makes great product and it's no secret that I'm a big fan of all Dyson's product. I also have the Dyson TP01 um, fanless blade and this um, this um, fanless blade or this air purifier actually has a HEPA filter inside. So basically what it does, it filters the air, removes all dust and particle. And like they say on commercial, 99.9% .9 of air pollens is actually um, removed from the air, goes into this HEPA filter, and it shoots out really nice, clean air. Um, so we have this in, a, in the second floor because it gets hot. And um, I also have another Dyson product that I um, absolutely love. Uh, and that product is actually the HP01, which is a hot and cool air purifier. So this TP01 is just a coal um, purifier and I have the, um, the HP01 which is hot and coal purifier which you can use in both summer and winter and it also gives the hot and cold air as well as clean pure HEPA air um, all right so this is the HP01 air purifier and uh, that gives the cool as well as hot air and this is the control that goes with it. You can see the red is the hot, hot ear, the blue is for the cold ear. Um, basically, you just put this on. And once it's on, it basically cycles the ear back and forth. It could oscillate and do all different types of features. So, beautiful um, air purifier. We keep this in the bedroom because we sleep here in the night. And obviously, when you're sleeping, you want to make sure you're breathing nice clean air especially in these uh, North American homes where you have a hot water tank and you have a furnace and it could uh, definitely be a lot of like um, like I say carbon monoxide or all that stuff in the air but knowing that we sleep in the night with a nice clean air purifier which will filter out all those pollens and bad air um, is something that I would encourage everyone uh, to have especially in your bedroom where you sleep um, this give you the peace of mind assurance that you are um, definitely breathing good air when, while you're sleeping. So my friends, uh, back uh, to the stick vacuum from Dyson. So let's uh, unbox this here. This came in um, recently and I have to open it um, to see what it's like inside. And I haven't used it yet, but I watch a lot of reviews on it. And everyone has recommended this um, this vacuum it is quite pricey I believe it sells about 299 US in um, on most stores and you can definitely get it on sale on those big Black Friday sale and stuff um, for about $50 less but our vacuum was giving us problem and uh, we had to change it and we had to pay whatever price was available at that point which was the regular price but it's a beautiful design nice packaging let's see what's inside all right so inside we can see here um, it does have the moto head this is the exciting piece this is the piece that I really wanted because this allows you to really use the vacuum with one hand and not have the extra attachment around it so that's the motor head piece 
and you can see there's two settings there that's the max setting I guess that's the normal setting this is a filter that's actually what, what is cool about this vacuum I saw online once it removes the dust from the carpet actually filters that dust uh, so you are you're um, you're not getting any dust back in the ear when it's suctioning the dust off the carpet so that's pretty cool user manuals lots of instructions here um, I've already done my research that's the hotline number registering the product comes with a one-year manufacturer warranty which is fantastic um, activate two-year parts and label that's pretty cool all right here is the attachment this one here is such um, it's a narrow attachment so it allows you to get into corners when you're vacuuming so put that there for now and this is the one that you can uh, get into like stairs like we have here and we can vacuum the stairs without having to lug around the long flat head of the vacuum other piece that I found really cool is a wall attachment so this would actually go on the wall and allows you to have it sit next to the outlet and charge while um, you're not using it and it's a nice easy um, attachment because you can actually put all the uh, pieces of the vacuum on it so pretty cool exciting all right this is our power charger one thing i like with dyson they, they make these really nice brick um and it has a nice dyson logo on it this is really good because it regulates the amount of power so you don't have that issue where your vacuum is actually overcharging or the uh, power card is broken or any of that instruction manuals pretty much instruction how to set up the power um the, the uh, wall mount bracket so that's pretty cool i might look at that later all right and this is the this is the nice piece this is the actual um stick that you would use to um set up the vacuum so it rolls on the uh, surface this vacuum is a multi-service vacuum so it does um work on both carpet as well as um, tile as well as hardwood floor and that is what I found really fantastic is the fact that I could uh, use it on all the different surfaces now mind you on our hardwood floor we don't really vacuum it we actually use a common broom but the fact that now we have a vacuum that is um, good on both surface we might actually check that out so let's see so on this uh, vacuum this is the bottom piece and what I like about the motor head is that you can actually buy each one of these pieces separate. So if um, you know if you want to save money and you just need to buy the motor head, you can just buy the motor head, and later on you go out and buy the piece for the floor. The piece for the floor it has a ball joint here which allows it to uh, go in all different direction. Um, and then the, the bottom piece here has the floor cleaner. I believe the black brush bristles are for hardwood and tile and the red bristles are for carpet um, and you can adjust how deep you want this to um, to clean so pretty cool and I think that's everything inside the packaging so I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and see what this uh, looks like and give it a whirl give it a test so my friends I decided to um, mount the uh the dyson vacuum directly onto the wall so it sits there on uh, the charge and it's charging and then it just sits there on the wall right above a little bit above the, the carpet so i can take it out but it's pretty cool design all the attachments can be obviously hooked into the bracket i really like this style this is fantastic um when, when it's char while it's charging if you want to use it quickly uh, basically uh, from what I see you just lift this up push this in and the vacuum comes out so it, the attachments the bracket stays on the wall you have your vacuum in your hands and that way you can go about vacuuming the carpet so let's give this uh, vacuum a test on the carpet um, this is our carpet right here it's pretty uh, pretty clean I cleaned it last year last week so let's see it's very quiet um, so I'll do a couple uh, vacuum in and you guys can see how this works.
right as you guys can see that's um, the stick uh, with the V7 motor head uh, so it gives you the extension so you don't have to bend your back it really um, vacuums the carpet very nicely and it's very quiet and uh, one thing I really love about this vacuum is there's no dust that's actually released back into the air most vacuums uh, you'll have a ton of noise and then it'll be pushing out back dust in the air so rather than vacuuming it just takes it off the carpet and push it back out in the air so that's the, um, the, the part that really sucks this is the bin for the dust as you can see the carpet is fairly clean um, so when that fills up to the max there that's when you should empty it and it has a really unique um, it's bagless obviously and it has a really unique um, bin deposit and um, I'm going to take a look at that right now so if you feel like okay you don't need to use the um, stick attachment you can just pop that off and you can take the just basically press that knob in take the stick off and then you have the v7 motor head um, that you can use and i'll use that for the stairs um, especially trying to get into each one of the um, crevice of the stairs i'll be using that attachment All right, here we go. So I added the attachment for the stairs or for smaller space where you just use the handheld. Um, and this allows you to really uh, have a free hand and use one hand basically to vacuum these smaller tight corners. No more do you have to lug around these heavy vacuums. You can basically use this Dyson thick vacuum uh, and get all your work on. I guarantee this will reduce your cleaning um, process um, by almost 50% because um, majority of the time for cleaning you're always dusting, you're always wiping um, and if you have a house with a lot of carpet this would be the ideal uh, cleaning solution to have. As I mentioned earlier, um, this vacuum is unique. It has this filter, which is washable, and this really filters the air uh, as it pushes pushes the air back out. So that way, you're getting clean uh, air. And with this filter, you can actually wash it and reuse it. Um, basically, lifetime um, filter. So that's pretty cool about this. one cool thing about this vacuum. Um, and then we have a little bit of dust inside here. So I'll show you guys how to release the, um, the dust. It's actually so simple and really elegantly designed. It has this, um, basically this lift right here. You pull this and then the bottom will e eject the dust bin. And that way all the dust is actually removed completely without making a mess. It also has this like rubber um, around the ejection. So as it ejects, it actually pushes down any small particle back down to the bin so that way nothing is get cut nothing gets caught up in the motor so really nice design love this vacuum um and highly recommend i think dyson makes tons of great product but it's v7 vacuum it's not too expensive it's affordable and um it definitely is worth the investment uh for um for anyone out there looking for a cleaning solution or uh, looking to replace the vacuum All right guys, so as I mentioned earlier, I'm about to show you guys how to eject or clean the dustbin uh, from the vacuum. And like I said earlier, it basically you just lift this lever off. The bottom here will actually eject and come completely out and that way all the dust that's inside here will get pushed out into the garbage bin. So pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys like this vacuum. 
um, and I recommend it please subscribe to the channel I'll be bringing more products review as well as cooking review and travel vlogs uh, so please subscribe please share these videos with your friends family um, so that more people can see these videos and subscribe as we look to build a great channel so I'm gonna try to do this with one hand you guys can see it's not quite easy there you go popped it open and basically just gonna empty all the dust that's in here so you hear that once it go all the way up all the dust will just collapse inside the bin like so and that way the bin is always nice and clean and that's all it is really just lift this up the dust comes out into the collector and you're good to go right the only thing that the only um i guess negative about this vacuum the trigger is very sensitive so even a small tap on the trigger can easily uh, set the trigger off and cause you to have um, the vacuum on so that's the only concern is that the trigger is really uh, sensitive to small light touches but um, i guess if you're using for a long period of time it makes sense that a trigger is very sensitive but as, as you guys can see here if i just basically tap on the trigger it sends the vacuum on so i guess the only negative but other than that is a beautiful vacuum great design fantastic um, product with dyson and another great um, investment all right so guys please like and subscribe to this channel and i will bring some more videos this week please be safe and we'll see you on the next video